E aí a falta do Smash Parker ali do Yalmin. T-Mac. Bola lá dentro. Roubou dele o Quenny Brown. Vamos ver o contra. Diferença de maneira de jogar e épocas totalmente diferentes. Aí Quenny Brown. Bandeja de mão esquerda. Bela jogada. E o Lakers vai a 12. Yalmin de novo. Com boa posição. Eles repostaram. E Yalmin. Missed it right at the rim. Britney Spears. That's got to be a wig. She just shaved her head about a month and a half ago. But we'll let Mark Jones and Tom Talbert figure it all out as we send it back to the Staples Center in L.A. Way to go, Jim. Here. Keep up the bad work. Back at Staples Center in Los Angeles, California, Yao Ming leading the way for the Houston Rockets. As they lead by five, Kobe Bryant with eight points. Quick ones for Los Angeles with just under six minutes played here in the over six minutes played in the quarter. Oh, a slam, a throwdown off the rebound by Kwame Brown. I guess he's all right. I guess that ankle's fine. Five of their last six. Brady off the mark. And here come the Los Angeles seasons. Going back to back as the NBA scoring leader. Well, these guys may be the best two pure scorers in the game in their ability to shoot threes, get to the rim. Nice move by Tommy Brown, hit free throws, get off shots, uh, contested shots, make contested shots. And these two guys right here are probably as good as it gets as far as pure scores in the NBA. Kwame Brown, meanwhile, going to the free throw line for the Los Angeles Lakers. Kwame Brown missed their last run a couple of uh, nights ago at home here because of a sore ankle. Brown has battled the injuries this year. He's actually played 13 games after missing two months with a very severe ankle injury. Knocks down the first foul shot. Just a 42% free throw shooter on the season. But those two, you know what, it's tough guarding someone when you know every time they touch the ball, they want to shoot it. It just, there's no breaks whatsoever. The best you can hope for is keeping him off. That's great. Well, Tommy Brown is very active tonight, Tom Colbert. Brown with eight points. Well, he's doing a nice job on the offensive end, making himself available. His conditioning not quite there yet, but looking pretty good in this game. Brown had it rejected by... I would just see if I can get yelled down low. Grady had it knocked away by Kwame Brown. Quick hand robbed and mugged. And it was a time where Lamar Odom, and still is a time where he's been very introspective, really grounding himself in his faith but it has been a struggle for him let's see if he can get some easy buckets for his teammates Kobe Bryant on the wing he's been uh, conspicuous by his silence offensively here in the third quarter just one point inside for Kwame Brown and he's fouled underneath there are a couple of Rockets in the neighborhood let's see who they call it against and Bob Delaney telling Yao Ming that uh, maybe a about a call that you Tommy Brown got the Yao Ming saying recently that he's uh, been watching Shaq a lot lately and seeing and watching and learning how Shaq is dealing with Boy, the silence in Staples Center is deafening right now, Tom. Well, there's not much to cheer about if you're a Lakers <laughs> no supporter. reason to get excited. Tommy Brown inside, and that oh, might be something yeah. to cheer about. Well, defensively, they've been pretty good in the quarter. I mean, they forced some tough shots. And the Rockets not shooting very well, but the Lakers does this time. He can make four or five shots in a row in a heartbeat. There he is in the pinch post against Battier. Still ice cold. Kwame Brown got it over the top of a tumble. Battier looking inside. Good job of forcing him out. Clear it out for Yao Ming looking against Kwame Brown. Brown standing his ground. He got a piece for the block. That was really good defense right there. Now if this one goes. You know, seven straight points for the Lakers. Here's Yao Ming for the Rockets. Bobby Brown right, with another good defensive play. Defiantly shaking his head and saying, not in my office, not this time. A chance to cut the lead to three for Los Angeles. Ryan off the screen for Brown over Yao Ming. Got it! Butter! Close, it's nine. Oh, it's Ray for Alston for three. And the double team doesn't matter for Cole. Oh, and tipped in by Rockets. Battier inbounding to Yao Ming, their best free throw shooter. Oh, Alston almost lost oh. it, and they turn it over. 
The Lakers have it with 21 seconds to go. The shot clock is off. Bryant looking for the three, got it up. And he's fouled before the shot. The foul is going to go against Yao Ming. And a quick foul by Yao Ming on Kwame Brown, who, by the way, is the worst free throw shooter on the floor for Los Angeles at just 42%. So that is the given strategy of Jeff Van Gundy. Well, that was, that's a great strategy right there. And I don't know if they were going to foul anybody that caught the, caught the ball, but to foul Kwame Brown in that situation, I mean, that's a nice job of coaching by Jeff Van Gundy. Hey, five or six tonight, but he misses that one. Brown's reaction after the miss. Done a nice job at the free throw line tonight, but uh, usually it's how many you make in the last two minutes from the free throw line that really counts. Missed them both. The Lakers get it back. Bryant, Kobe, Butter, tied at 95. Another team out. Pull it up. Got a look. Rebounded, and we're going into overtime. Let's play five more. You guys, it's real. It's going to be oh, play. And they throw it away. Hayes turns it over. Three minutes to go. Brian in the front court. Over Hayes this time. And he's fouled.